My name is Akapalista and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a Q&A today, so I have a few questions that I have prepared. Uh, this is in one shot, so sorry if I stumble or uh, mess up. <laughs> I've probably recorded this a million times before. Alright, so question one. How do I say your name? Uh, like I said before in the introduction, my name is Acapelisa. So it's a mixture between Acapella and my name, which is Lisa. Why did you start streaming? Uh, I started streaming a couple of years ago, a year ago, um, in 2019, early 2019. Uh, just, just for fun, just because it was like something, something a bit different to do. Um, and yeah, uh, and I was encouraged to do it by, um, by some people. Uh, why do you stream now? Okay, so I started streaming for fun, but for me, um, the reason I continued streaming was just because I loved the community and I love getting to talk to new people and just getting to know everyone and being that face that people can come home to and whether they're having a good day or a bad day or anything in between, they can just come and hang out and talk about it or be distracted, you know, whatever it may be. Um, I just want to be that person that they can rely on and yeah, just make really quality friends with everyone in chat. I want everyone to feel special because because they are. They were created to be super special, one of a kind, um, and I want them to know that. Yeah. Uh, what are your hobbies? Um, okay, my hobbies are singing, of course, <laughs> uh, playing games, going for walks uh, and outdoorsy stuff, occasionally some kind of art things. Um, yeah, and just, I, I know it's kind of weird, but I like organizing things and making things look really put together. Um, and just like, yeah, pretty. I like it. It's, it's really satisfying. What is your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color, I kind of have two, but I would say my favorite is like a turquoise, like a, a green, greeny blue color. Um, and then my other one is like a kind of a light, like purpley pink magenta-ish -ish color. Yeah. Uh, what is my favorite animal? My favorite animal has to be a giraffe. They're so cute. I love them. I even have a plushie like back there. Um, that's a giraffe. He's so cute and I love it so much. <laughs> I love giraffes. They're so adorable. I just want to hug them all. Oh, I love them. Uh, next question. Where are you from? So originally, I'm from Australia. That's where I was born and I grew up. And then in uh, late 2019, I moved to the US to live. So that's pretty fun. Intercontinental life. Uh, what is the most important thing in your life? Uh, I'd say the most important thing is my family and my friends and just the people that I get to know throughout life and through Twitch and YouTube, getting to know everybody and just hang out with them, and talk to them is, it's pretty special. It's pretty special to become a part of different people's lives from all over the world and, um, yeah. That's pretty important to me. Uh, what is one of the things you loved most growing up? Um, I think getting to play games. So when... <laughs> Ooh, <kinda. laughs> I don't know. Um, when, basically when my, when my dad used to have time off, we would play card games or board games together, like Phase 10 or Sorry or like you know and it was super fun um and we would play them at fa family gatherings like christmas and birthdays and stuff like that and it was super fun i loved it 
Um, and that's definitely like what got me into a lot of like card games and board games. I guess that's the one of my hobbies too. <laughs> um, but like he, he definitely inspired me to getting into that. And I really love playing them um, with pretty much anyone. It's super fun. It's just really chill. And um, yeah, since since I was young, like my my collection's grown. Um, I've also had sorts of games like more traditional ones, like you know and stuff like that. Um, all the way to like Ticket to Ride and Carcassonne and like a few different ones. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite part of nature? I just have to say that my favorite part of nature is definitely the sky. I love the sky so much. It's so pretty. And the different forms of it, whether it's sunrise, sunset, the stars, just, it's really pretty. Uh, do you have a catchphrase? Uh, kind of. The closest thing I have to a catchphrase, uh, I'd have to say, is like, why be normal? Because normal's overrated and weird is fun. Uh, yeah, something like that. That would be the closest thing I have to a catchphrase. Um, do you have any tattoos or piercings in real life? No, I don't have any tattoos, but I do have the classic uh, ear piercings, just the, just the first not not the seconds um but i was told that i have earlobes that would be good for stretches whatever that means um, but i'm not game enough for that i'm not rebellious enough for that um, who was the last person you sent a discord message to um uh, let me look i the last person i sent one to was me actually uh and it's about dmc <laughs> it's about dmc stuff <laughs> and like uh how they're changing re possibly changing regulations uh okay the next question is what month were you born in or what star sign are you i was born in october so my star sign is a libra and my birthstone, I believe, is an opal. Yeah. Have you ever broken a bone? I have not. Although I may have broken a toe. My pinky toe. But I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I never got that checked out. Uh, when something bad happens, would you rather be alone or have someone around? Uh, I usually like having someone around. Or being in a call with somebody, or like even if I don't feel like talking, just having someone there really helps. Um, but generally, it's good for me to just talk it out. That definitely makes me feel a lot better. And but yeah, just having someone around, just making sure I don't feel alone or lonely, definitely helps a lot. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Uh, hmm. A night owl, I guess. I I have trouble waking up, but that's probably partially to do with like my my thyroid stuff that we're still trying to figure out. Um, but yeah, I get I get tired, super tired in the morning, and it's hard for me to wake up. So I I'd, I'd probably say night. Yeah, I stay up pretty late. Have you ever volunteered anywhere? Yes. Um. I volunteered at a few places for about two years, I think. Um, so I would work one to two days at my kind of, I guess, part-time job, you'd call it, a casual job. Um, and then the other three or four days a week, I would volunteer at my church, like at the office or helping with a Bible study, like minding the kids there. Um, and then there was another day where I would help out with, like, there's a place um, nearby that does, like, case management and psychology, counseling, um, lots of different stuff that I would help out with them. And they also had, 
Um, I'm not sure if they still do, but they also had off of that branch, um, like mediation. So, um, family law stuff. So I would help out with their books and doing their receipts and, um, data entry, just, just whatever they needed. And, um, yeah, when it came to like the church stuff, I'd help with events and lots of like Excel, Microsoft, all that stuff, Word, whatever, whatever they needed. Um, just help out, just make it a little easier. And I met some really amazing people. I, I really love those people. They're, they're pretty awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, did you like volunteering and working where you worked? So, like I said before, yeah, I, I really liked a lot of the places, um, just because of the people in there. The people were absolutely amazing. Um, they made it a really great place to be and a really positive, like, atmosphere, um, and just really warm and welcoming, and I, I really appreciated that from them, um, and it was really just, yeah, really amazing to be in those places, and just to be able to help out was pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, that's actually all the questions I have for now. Um, if I ever think of any more, I'll add some more later. But yeah, thank you guys for listening and getting to know me. I can't wait to get to know each and every one of you um, in the comments. And yeah, just to get to support each other through whatever happens. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>